What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Drowning Middle Sports and RCs. So recently videos that I've been doing have been about the uh the drag slash and uh just trying to find out stuff about it man because I'm like super excited about this thing coming out. Um I've actually been waiting on parts, so that's kind of why like I haven't been making any videos lately. <clears throat> but um today We got some uh, parts. I'm like super excited about it. And the parts that we got are for, as you guys saw in the thumbnail, for the TT01 rally car. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the body. Now, I don't know if you guys remember in the last video, <clears throat> um, I had recently taken, and I'll put a link up, here up there anyway <laughs> I'll put a link up there um, so in my last video I talked about I took this thing out and if you guys see here the knuckle right under here broke off so I had ordered these knuckles from uh, 3 Racing which are absolutely beautiful looking they look so nice they look so good as you guys can see they look really good and I got them both left and right um, what I didn't realize when I ordered them was that I wasn't going to be able to use the uh, cups that co that come with the Tamiya um, I had to order <sighs> The cups, <laughs> the cups that are for these. Um, I'm gonna take this apart in a second, but if you guys notice, this back here is a lot. So this opening here is a lot smaller than the Tamiya hub. So what I had to do was I ordered some parts from um, Three Racing. And I've literally waited one month and six days. Ten. So, yeah, a month and six days for these parts to come in. So, so when I order these, I know it says E, but when I order these, I didn't realize, I, I actually got these from RC Mart. I didn't realize that I was going to have to order these. So if you guys want to pause it, Ooh, back up a little bit. There you go. So I needed the uh, swing shafts and the outer joints to be able to get these things to um to work i didn't know um i'm, I'm actually kind of new to this uh <laughs> actually kind of new to this uh three racing i could have just went with the stock original stuff but i'm like you know what if i i, I gotta fix it i might as well upgrade everything so what we're gonna do because I am dying to take this out on the road. Um, dying to take this thing out to see what it can do. Um, and of course, I still got to do a speed run with this because I still don't know how fast it goes. I know it's got some speed, but I just don't know how much. Um, a brushless Viper ESC and a Castle... 4300, 3400, I think it was. KV motor. Um 100,000 RPM max. So I forget. Anyway, let's let's do it. All right, so what we're going to wind up doing is right now we are going to be taking all of this apart. So I'm going to start off with taking the upper arms off. Hey, hey. Doc. So I'm going to start off with taking the upper arms off. 
um, and go from there. And that one is out. So now with that part being out, you're going to grab the outer joints, the diff outer joints right here, which are these. And you are basically going to take out this cup in here and you are going to slide this new one right in there so there we have it in there I don't know if you guys can see that or not there you go there you go so we have that in there it just slipped right on in now we're gonna grab this bad boy right here and um, <clears throat> that is actually going to replace this cup that's in here so we're going to be taking this off Take the wheel out, take that off, slip this out. Yes, I know that I do have to upgrade these bearings, but I don't have the bearings for it yet. So what I'm gonna do is take that out and we are now going to reuse, we're go now going to use these ones. So we're going to put the stock bearings back in while the plastic, whatever you want to call them, put them back in. And they are going to go in just like so. Slip this bad boy. And like that. Put that back on. Oh, I was wondering where that went. <laughs> and, and put the wheel back on just so I don't lose that. little uh, there we go and now that's on so now what we're going to do is put this bad boy on here well you're going to put the dog bone in the cup Put the dog bone in the cup, slide that down, and that's not working out. And there we have it, guys. It's not secure yet, but there it is. That looks so nice, so nice. So I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Now, with these knuckles here, they give you, they send you screws to use with them. So you're not going to reuse these screws that you just took out. Put them to the side, you can save them for something else. 
but these screws you will not be using so throw them to the side but you we are still going to be using this bad boy right here for the screw for this top right there <clears throat> So let's go on ahead and grab our trusty little little toolkit here and see what size this is. Alright, so it's a two. Bad boy right here. Alright, so what you should really do with these is Loctite metal to metal you always want to put Loctite not too much just literally a dab see that just a dab I'm gonna put that on and thread it Thread the top one through the top arm. Get that off. Flip her upside down. Put the dog bone back. And now this bottom one here, I have an issue. Because since that screw popped out, I lost the other little piece that came on here and this isn't going to be enough for it so now I'm kind of SOL there buddy all right so I so here's a piece that broke off As you guys can see the difference there that was the top this was the bottom now I lost that little piece that's right there the little plastic piece um, alright so I had lost this piece right here so this piece right here I'll put an arrow I lost that piece when this side broke so since I don't have another one of those pieces and when I ordered these parts I completely forgot to order these um, the only thing I'm going to do right now which I think will kind of help out when uh, I think it will kind of help out because it's not going to be too low as you guys can see there it's not that low but you know what I'm gonna use I found these washers right here if you guys can see that so if you guys can see these washers they're like uh, M3's 3M uh, washers and um, they actually fit perfectly on the screws that come with this kit with the knuckles so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these washers, put this thing together, and uh, then I'll have to order the parts that I need to get this done correctly. So let's continue on with this. So here is, so I am not going to put Loctite on this screw on this side um, until I get the right washer. Because this washer right here is just temporarily putting it on. So I am not going to, uh, I'm not going to be putting Loctite on this. And there she's in. So just to hold it for right now. And what I did actually I think that is gonna work out pretty well that washer 
that a washer is actually going to work out pretty well. So what I am going to do now, I lied, I said I wasn't going to, but now I am going to. So I actually have more of these washers. So I'm going to double up. If you guys can see, I'm going to double up on these washers onto the screw. And because now I like the way that the washer was sitting on there, put a little bit of a uh, Loctite on here on the tip right there. Come on, Loctite. There you go. It's a tiny bit. Put this thing back into action here. Put this piece in. Yeah, that's nice and tight right now. There you go. So now we have the one side in. And I'll tell you what, this looks freaking badass. It looks great. It looks absolutely great, guys. I'm very excited about this. Very, very excited. So now, again, it also brings screws for the steering. Right there, as you guys can see. I'm gonna put these on. I'm not gonna Loctite these yet. I just wanna see fit and finish. I just want to see how it fits on here. If I have to uh, make any type of modifications to the chassis or anything. So, it's, yeah, I'm happy with that. I am extremely, extremely happy with the way that came out. Guys. I'm actually going to take off this bumper so you guys can see it perfectly. Oh. I found it. <laughs> I thought I had lost it. It's right here. I actually had a sitting right here the whole time. So there's a hole right there. That's where I had it. I didn't even realize it, but I never lost that part. Yes! I still had it. Awesome. So, you guys tell me, would it look better with just the washers holding it or with that piece? Um, one thing I can say with this aluminum piece here is that I definitely, I uh, no, maybe. It kind of looks like I lost some ground clearance with these pieces. Um, I will definitely be able to turn more, but I'm still doing some type of modifications on here so I can be able to turn more. Um, I think I like the washers better on here than this piece. So I'm going to go on ahead, do this, uh, do the driver's side. I'm going to go on ahead, do the driver's side, and uh, be back with you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So I was actually able to put on both sides, the driver's side and the passenger side on. And just by looking at the front of it, it looks awesome. It just looks absolutely awesome. So, um, there is a little bit of play here, but that's all from the 
unfortunate plastic stuff anyway so modifications that i have done to this thing is this is an original tamiya uh, propeller shaft with the two end cups here and there on the bottom they have the uh yeah racing blue uh steering um bridge steering bridge with the steering pieces here this side and on that side and now with the three racing with the three racing knuckles and um and cvds cvds cvas cvds i think they are knuckles cvds through racing calls it a swing shaft version three so if you guys are looking to upgrade um your tamiya with this kind of stuff um whatever you do huh huh I, I i'll show you guys something in a bit so whatever you do if you guys get these knuckle arms for and i just found something out like look on the back of this packaging here it says 2015. look on the back of this one it is 2020 this one says 2020. these are the two pieces that i had just gotten from three racing this is the one that i ordered from rc mart um again i love rc mart they have everything the only issue is that um since it is in china excuse me again these parts three racing they are all out of china so it does take a while for it to stuff to arrive um like i said in the beginning of the video i waited a month and six days for these two pieces to arrive so I can be able to put this thing back together because I have not been able to do anything with this um, for the main fact that <sighs> I ordered parts that I needed parts to be able to finish this and I didn't realize that I needed extra parts to finish this uh, because those parts wouldn't work with these parts and it's Anyway, the other thing that I have got to say is that I have to order the uh, ball bearings for this thing because I've been running these plastic bearings, bearings, to me it wants to call them, um, on this thing, but I want to do more with it than this so i am going to be ordering ball bearing kit for this thing uh so i can get it out on the road you know i have makeshift again this is my rally car uh, i made these yes that is masking tape painter's tape you or you like to call it um this is a mock-up but it's not but it is a mock-up of um it's a mock-up, basically, of wheel wells. I'm working on one for the front also because I don't want to have too much dirt and dust and all that stuff kicking in here. Um, so, I mean, guys, I'm like super excited about this thing. Uh, the other thing that I want to try to do, uh, the other thing that I want to try to do is I want to get longer shocks. Um, I want to get longer shocks because I want to lift the ride height on this thing. Again, this is a rally car. That's all I'm using it for, straight up a rally car. Um, so I want to give it some more ground clearance. The shocks that are on here now are not original for the Tamiya 
this was actually off of a uh, RC that I had once before and I think I broke it and I tossed it instead of fixing it it was a HBX high high uh, eight high boshing high boshing whatever you want to call it uh, 110 scale it's like pff, years ago so I ended up keeping the suspension I ended up keeping the suspension and uh, I don't really have much travel so I got to order suspension for this thing um, so I can get it back out on the road but guys girls ladies and gentlemen boys and girls everybody do me a favor down in the comments below um, in the comments below let me know if I should keep these washers on here right there if I should keep these washers on on the bottom here or if I should put these back on um, I think with these washers I will be okay I think with the washers I will be okay but please let me know in the comment section below if I should put these back on because um, now part of me is really saying part of me is really telling me to put them back on uh, it'll be better to have these on instead of those but um, I'm down to listen to whatever you know so just you know you guys let me know what you think I should do I, I just I, I can't get enough of how bad ass that looks I mean guys that looks awesome that looks absolutely awesome um, so please stay tuned hit that like button subscribe stay tuned we are going to be doing a speed run with this set up the way it is now because now finally I can do it uh, the other thing I got to do is I got to add um, Loctite to the these screws make sure that there's enough Loctite on there not enough but make sure that there is Loctite on there that these things are not going to go pew, fly away because I don't want them to go pew, fly away <laughs> so yeah I am so ready to get this thing out on the road guys uh, like I'm super excited to get this thing on the road. I would right now, but again, it's like 10 o'clock at night and uh, I got a good work tomorrow, so I'm going to want to be out there for a while if I take this out right now. So guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and again, 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 stay tuned. We are going to have a speed run on this. Um, we're going to get a speed run on this thing to see how fast it will go. I'm only going to run it on 2S because I do not believe this uh, ESC. Again, if anybody knows this, this Viper ESC. You yeah, can see it right there. That's all I can tell you. It's a Viper ESC. Uh, if I can. It's a Viper Copperhead. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a Viper Copperhead ESC. If anybody can tell me and let me know if this thing can run on 3S, please, by all means, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to run this thing on 3S just to get a speed run out of it. Um, for rally circumstances, I will only be running it on 2S. But, hey, I'd like to see what it does on 3S. So, again, it's a Viper Copperhead. I'll look it up also, but if anybody can let me know if there's a... Um, if anybody can let me know if this thing can run on 3S, please leave a comment down below. I read them and I'll get back to you guys. So again, thank you for watching and stay tuned for my next video. You guys have a good one.